Capital Jazz TV, Jamal Ahmed, and I'm here with, uh, I mean, this man is really like the king of the ship right now, Mr. Mike Phillips. How you doing, sir? Uh, king of the ship? I don't know about that. I am the king. You said it all. You man, said it all. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm the king of having fun <laughs> on this ship. Yeah, I think that's both of us. That's both of us. So, man, how's the, how's the cruise been thus far for you? Man, um... I feel like um, I'm playing for Kyle Perry, one and done. I came on Sunday, <laughs> rocked my show, um, went up, went up to the 16th joint, um, shot some hoop, then got inspired by a whole bunch of musicians that are on the cruise, which is important because as musicians we give so much, but to sit back and be inspired is another thing that you can take with you, and then you can get back on your grind on your gigs, knowing that. You've been feeding people the gift and sharing, but you've been getting fed too. So it's a good position to be in to do my thing Sunday and now to sit back, you know, and watch RC um, rock it, you know, watch Glasper do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Jonathan Butler, Jeffrey Osborne, you know, so I'm loving it, man. Right, right, right. So, so I mean, one thing I love about you, Mike, is the fact that that you're very accessible to the people. I mean, you know, you walking around the, the ship and, and, and people coming up to you, it's, it's almost like, you know, th they don't really get that chance to see you that often, and you're very open and warm and, and engaging. Uh, how was that aspect of the cruise for you? Um, you know, I kind of like feel like the cruise is, I'm comfortable. It's kind of like my living room. So, you know, if someone wants to have a conversation with you, um, I'm not in the mode of just receiving the compliment and keeping it moving, um, engaging, um, talking to the people who um, paid good money to listen to great music and to kind of like kick it with their favorite jazz artists. So like that 10 minute conversation is worth everything, you know? Um, I've got asked many questions, answered them. We kicked it, laughed, told jokes, and people got to know a side of me that probably wouldn't exist to them if they were just absorbing me from a musical perspective. So those conversations are really important. You get to understand who I am. You get to understand my humor, you know, how fun I am, how competitive I am if you're up there playing basketball with me or if you're on the golf course with me. So, yeah, we, you know what? I think I can't have an inflated sense of self-worth to walk around and think that just because I have this gift that God has given me, it allows me to feel so good that um, I can't talk to people, you know, and people get kind of like that. And, and I say, man, this cruise is something where I understand from the core essence of who I am as an individual is that these people, they support your career. That 10 minute conversation and kicking it with them, that handshake, that selfie that you take, it goes a long way, man. And, and it's it's really important too because, I mean, being a great musician is one thing, but but being a great human and being a great individual is a whole nother thing. And when you combine the two, uh, it's something that's unmatched, unparalleled. Yeah. And I, and I think you represent that, man. Well, I, I try my best because at the end of the day, um, you know, great things from different perspectives, if they're cross pollinated into one situation, um, that's when you can win. You know, so you know the musicianship, um, who I am as a person. People can feel my passion, you know, my dedication, my dedication to the culture of jazz, my dedication to jazz education, you know, um, dedication to letting saxophone players know that there's a rites of passage. So um, R&B playing, um, it might be cool, but just understand Louis Armstrong. Sonny Stitt, Sonny Rollins, Ornette Coleman, Farrell Sanders, Duke Ellington, mm. Ella Fitzgerald. We can go on and on. This is a culture. Right. Right. So let's not sidestep it. Even when you look at the R&B essence of Grover, you put Grover in the Straight Ahead Club and, oh, boy, it's burning. Exactly. Um, George Howard, um, Art Porter. Yes. So I stand on the Najee. show. Yeah, yeah. I, Najee, Kirk, yeah. Gerald. I stand on the shoulders of that. So... You know, those guys are on this cruise. Those guys are who, you know, who, who uh, they, they're the core essence of my existence. So they're tapped into the culture, and I have to be too. So, you know, being on the cruise, I get to see Earl Clue. Come on, man. I mean, the original OG. 
you know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm I'm excited. Like, I can't wait to get off this boat, practice, get better as a musician because of the inspiration that uh, that that I get from here, man. It's it's absolutely amazing, man. Oh. Well, hey, man, I think you said it all, Mike Phillips. Thank you so much for being you and for giving the people what they want and also what they need, man. God bless you in all your future endeavors. Okay? Man, no doubt. Big shout out to Capital Jazz TV, man. Y'all keep this rolling. Um, keep the culture of jazz alive. It's truly important. Great artistry, fun, you know, and we get a chance to kick it. I get a chance to kick it with my heroes, too, so it's not just the fans that are coming on to the cruise kicking it. I'm having uh, the time of my life getting a chance to shake hands with Earl Clue and some of the great artists. So it's a pleasure to be on this cruise and um, hope to get invited back, man. God willing, God willing. Mike Phillips, Jamal Ahmed, Capital Jazz TV, we out. Peace.